everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen and I am a mum to four big kids. Today I have a shopping haul for you from Sainsbury's and it's come to about £88. Um, we were really running low on a lot of things this week. Yeah, so I've had to buy just some extras um, that I don't buy every week or I just don't buy as much of. So I just wanted to top up on some things. Again, stuff was a good price or um, it was on offer. Um, I've saved quite a lot of money on offers this week, as I usually do. Um, so I've been really, really happy with it and I'm going to show you what I've got. So I think we've got a lot this week. And I've gone back to having like a full table and I've bought a few different bits as well this week so where I said there were things I needed to stock up on I remembered cheese was one of them we've run out of cheese completely so I've got cheeses um, what else did we run out of? we run out of pot noodles we run out of crisps that they'll actually eat so anyway I'll show you all that when we get over to there start over here so I just got some of these chicken pops, they're a pound, like they do for a dinner or a lunch. Got some mints, I got uh, two pints of milk, four pints of milk. And the Innocent Smoothies were on sale again as usual. So I've got the ones with pineapple in this time since Amelia isn't here and she seems to be allergic to pineapples. So I never get the pineapple ones for the others. So I got that. I've got some pork sausages. And then I got two of these um, steak pies, so Leon doesn't eat these sausages. He'll have the pies while we have the sausages. I got a chorizo ring, although I didn't realise it was a spicy one. Oops. Um, I got a chorizo ring. Uh, I'm going to make a pepper and chorizo spaghetti, which is on my recipes, on my cook with me's. That's a really, really, really nice dinner. Got two of the smoked ham, two of the Billy Bear. So what's going on at the moment, we're just going through so much sandwich meat. Uh, I'm not sure that's even going to last a week, to be honest. So I've got Edam slices and grated four cheese mix. So they haven't had this one before. Me and Daisy um, are dairy-free, or mostly dairy-free. We certainly don't eat cheese or drink milk or anything like that. Um, kids really like these. These were still on offer, so I thought I'd get those. So I've got two of those. Leon absolutely loved these. I bought this last week. Um, so he's doing his GCSEs at the moment. He's spending a lot of lunch times at home. So I just wanted to give him something that was quick. It was easy so he can concentrate on his studies and everything. Um, but he's still having something quite hearty to eat. I think it really takes that, you know, taking their brain power just makes them so hungry. Like he's eating so much. I've uh, got some spinach, got some more of these mini cheeses, I've uh, got a garlic baguette, not sure which meal we'll have that with yet but I just really fancy one, got some broccoli and um, a courgette, so this I bought last week, you might remember, Daisy loved it, I didn't actually try it, I'm not a mad fan on anything coconutty, um, but I might give it a go this week, she said it was lovely. Very expensive when it's not an offer though. Um, kids love this pasta, which again, I don't buy very often. I tend to buy it if we're doing a barbecue or some sort of buffet meal. Um, but then I just thought, well, why not? They're going to be at home now as of the end of this week. I'm going to have no kids at school until September. So I'm going to have to start buying more lunchy type things for them to have at home. So I got some scotch eggs as well. I uh, got some onions, some sweet potatoes and some King Edwards. They're my favourite potatoes for everything. <laughs> um, I got a smaller bag of carrots because I'm just not going through the carrots at the moment. So I've stopped buying a kilo bag and I'm now buying 500 grams. I thought I ordered more peppers but we've got two. I've got some bread grapes. And two mangoes. These were a lot cheaper than buying the packets of mangoes. So I've got those. Some bagels and some wraps. Bought a ton of these biscuits. So I think these are expensive. So when they're on offer, I've decided I'm just going to buy more. Because you get... I think I don't think they were half price this time. I have bought them half price. So then obviously I buy double the amount. I think 
they were a quarter of the price off. I'm not sure. I'll put the prices on the screen of things that were on offer anyway. Um, but we had run out of all of our snacks, all of our crisps. We've run out of pot noodles, which is really bad. Um, and yeah just like i said like the fridge was almost empty no meats no cheeses or anything um thought i'd top up on sweet corn we either don't use this in a week or we'll use three tins in a week so i'll just top up the bimto all we need is some pasta right i've got some nice posh pasta as i call it i don't have just regular pasta got two of the smooth apple sauces we love these particularly with sausages or on a roast dinner some fairy cakes i only got two pot noodles this week so these were not on offer and again i think they're expensive and i only buy them when they're like got money off or they're on some sort of offer but we were nearly out i think we've only got like one or two left and the problem is, and you may or may not know, but obviously if you've got a child who's on the spectrum, they only eat certain types of foods. Um, you have to have certain foods in, and this at the moment is one of the fads that we're going through is pot noodles. Um, and it's actually something he can make for himself as well. So, um, you know, I've got to keep stocked up on those. I'm going to go look somewhere else on my travels to see if I can get them cheaper. So we've got squares um french fries so i decided to buy these ones of the veggie straws so a couple of the kids love the veggie straws but i buy the um like the toddler version and these were cheaper so i just thought we'd see if they like these ones but these are not individual packets whereas the other ones are and they're really handy but we'll see and then i thought i'd see if they like these these were on offer just for something different they might not like them to be honest but um chocolate dodges and gary baldies um i don't know if you guys like a gary baldy or not but like i grew up on gary baldies <laughs> uh, my kids love them um got some more food and freezer bags i like these ones these are really good um banana and date fruit bars just really handy to have in my snack box i bought these again okay we did have some left but they've been going through them so quickly and they're very expensive they're on offer so i bought one pack um needed washing liquids and these mandarins are a favorite at the moment as well mandarins and juice they're really nice in the fridge get them nice and cold three bottles of apple squash and then i bought all these yogurts uh yogurts oh my god jellies so jelly is a thing that some of us will eat when we're hungry and these are all different flavors so you've got mango and passion fruit rhubarb and custard uh blueberry muffin and then there's a different one somewhere i'm sure there was uh, i've ordered four rhubarb and custards i thought i got a different flavor as well but they're not, I'm not saying they're new but we haven't had those before so i'm going to stick them in the fridge see if the kids like those so obviously that's a much healthier snack um, because obviously you know my boy is eating quite a lot I do want him to have healthy snacks on hand as well so obviously they've got the innocent smoothies they've got the fruit the jellies um, so it's not at least it's not just rubbish like I know I've got a lot of rubbish here <laughs> um, but that so usually the crisps I mean I don't remember the last time I bought loads of crisps probably a month ago to be honest they do last in this house luckily um but my kids are gannets and they're always hungry so um yeah anyway that was about 88 pounds so i'm really happy with all of that so that's it for this week guys and i'll see you next week with another shopping haul if you like this video please give it a thumbs up for me and i'd love it if you subscribe as well for more um shopping hauls